All right, IB year one, uh, we're going to talk about chapter 3C. Chapter 3C, we're going to start off with an example here, kind of bringing in some of the things that we did in parts A and B. Um, here's some ages of 15 cats are listed here. The nice thing about it is they are already in order, and they want you to find the median, the mean, and the mode for this data point. And then they want you to comment whether there are any data points that distort the calculations from the mean. Um, remove these values and then I want you to recalculate and then we'll discuss the answer. So the way they want you to do this is not to do this the long way. Uh, I want you to take this, make your lists. Remember we talked about how do you go to stats, edit, clear the lists, and then put in 10 through 25 there um, on your calculator. And then go to um, calc stats and then over to calculate I think it's calculate again I still don't have my calculator with me um, and then I need you to do the single variable stats and it should tell you the median the mean the mode and there will be some other information that eventually we'll be looking at as well so do that up real quick and you should end up finding when you do that you find that the median is 12, the mean is 13.6, and the mode is 12. So I used a calculator to figure all three of those out. Um, and then it says comment on whether there are any data points that seem to distort your calculations. I think if you look at that list, those two numbers right there seem to have a very big pull because they are 10 and 11 more than the other next highest number. And if you think about it, if you're going from 10 to 14, that's only a difference of 10 to 14, that's 4. And then all of a sudden you jump all the way up to here, that's a 15 difference for a range. So, yeah, 24 and 25, they seem to distort your, uh, your calculations. They're bringing your average up to a 13.6. So it says, hey, take those values out. So go back to your list, take them out. So now you have less data points. And look at your new mean. And if you do that, you end up finding out your mean drops down to 11.9, which is definitely closer to the mode and the middle, middle number and median. So outliers is what they call those, definitely have a pull or an impact on our different numbers, right? Uh, not only did they add more numbers into it so your middle number will be different, but it takes your average, I think, has a very big hit when it's very small numbers or very large numbers. So let's talk about here and talk about the investigation. Um, so it wants you to find the mean, median, and mode for the following data sets. Uh, again, use your calculator. There are 13 employees um, and I want you to do that for A, B, and C. Now notice that it's having you do that and then it says which data entries do not appear to fit with the rest of the data. So look, I don't again have my calculator. I would trust if you guys got the last example. Um, we're going to figure this out. And so if you're looking at part A, you got 4,000s, 4,000s, 40, 42, 45, 46, 20, and 42. I think everybody would understand that 20,000 and 42,000 for an average, what, salary, uh, monthly salary. I mean, I would love to have a $20,000 monthly salary. Heck, I would think I would like some of those other ones too. But I think that would be like maybe CEOs of this thing right here, right? I mean, that's a big boss, man. These are the workers. Um, big disparity. Disparage. So if we wanted to say, hey, look, everybody in our company is making good money, I think I would have these people's values in here or their salaries because it'll bump up everybody else's salaries. Um, so then, you know, that's the things we got to take in consideration. Looking at number two, um, the ages of students in a chemistry course at a university. Um, look, everybody is 19, 18, 20s. Now all of a sudden, you get up to the last two. Again, they're putting in the last two. It's kind of giving it away. But 55-year-old and a 63-year-old taking courses for college, you know, really throws some numbers off. 
A lot more than, say, even that 17, because 17 is, okay, there's a couple of them in here. There's a couple 17s that would pull it down to the lower end. But that 55 and 56 would take that median or middle age, uh, median age, or the average age of a course and make them actually look like they're up in the upper 20s possibly, right? Um, and then the length of time in seconds for which 15 people can hold their breath. Um, it looks as if a lot of people are in the middle here at the 50s, the 60s, the 80s. Um, so it actually looks closer to me and without actually doing the math, that 92 would actually be a little bit better than, say, even some of the people down here at the 20 to 23s to the rest of the data. So 30 way, 30, you know, 60, 60 somewhere in the middle. I go 30 up, 30 down. I think the 20, 22, 23 might be a little bit further away. So they don't necessarily appear to be fitting with the data. And do you think these entries could result, you know, and some sort of error. I think we just talked about that. You know, makes it look like everybody's making a lot of money. Makes it look like a lot of old people attend your school. And it makes it sound like people can't hold their breath, right? So those are all different things. Um, and then they want you to go back and redo those and see those data values actually change if you take them out. Um, so I would like you guys to try that. Um, maybe just do it at least once just to kind of show that, you know, those are extreme values, as it says, and they distort your mean or your average. And we do call those the outliers because they just don't fit. So the question I guess you want to ask yourself, well, how do outliers affect the central tendencies? So obviously outliers can either really raise it up or lower um, your data with one or two numbers, even though most of your numbers, like even here, like especially for your salaries, most of your salaried people are definitely in four thousands. But if I found the average, I'm definitely thinking that the average is going to be probably closer to five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars. I want to go work there. But then you get there and you find out no, not everybody is doing that. Um, how can you identify outliers to help you decide which measures of central tendency to use to represent the data? Um, I think it's pretty easy. I mean, they just don't look right, right? Every number that I circled up there or underlined, you know, either has a place or doesn't have a place in our data. So um, some of it's a little bit intuition. Some of it, you know, is a little bit more difficult, like the holding your breath. Was it 92 or was it 20 and 22 and 23s? Um, so, I mean, you can have a chat with that, right? That's a, that's a discussion then you have, and it really does come down to what is the circumstances of the situation. Um, and that doesn't make sense that somebody could be doing something or not to be doing something. And so as it states here that outliers are extreme data values outside the norm and result in errors in reading data and that they can distort the results of statistical processes, obviously. So the, obviously if you have data that's skewed, then you can't really use it effectively. Um, and they do affect the mean by making it larger or smaller. And I think we've talked about all of those things. Question though, TOK question, is there a difference between information and data? That's a good question. I think what we should do for part of your homework is I want everybody to make a stance on this. Give one reason for the information or data. So for info or data and defend that. So give one reason, give one reason, defend it. Let's post that on our um, Google Hangout and then for your homework, homework, let's do this. Here's your four problems um, from the mean medium mode forum and using your calculator, don't do this stuff by hand guys and then comment on any piece of data that you may think that are outliers. It doesn't even have you redo it just find the outlier. State, this is an outlier. Otherwise, have a great day.